Hi grade 12s, welcome to another accounting video with me. Um, so today I'm going to be talking to you about ethics and in time fixed assets. So ethics refer to acting in ways which are consistent with that, with what society and in individuals think are good values, right? So. All the time when we are in different environments, whether within a friendship group, a family um, setting, or at work, it's very important to operate at a specific standard of behavior. And so that's where ethics and, with time, professionalism come into the conversation when we speak about accounting and the accounting environment, right? So in terms of this um, definition, we're basically saying that it is about acting in ways that society and individuals think are good so in general what would we see as bad so like stealing in general how do individuals speak how how do people treat each other in society in a way that is generally accepted as being the most well behaved way because ethics is basically under ethical behavior right and then it is expected from every employee right so this is when you get situations where people are losing their jobs based on being unethical right and they will umbrella they'll put it under an umbrella term and say that that person was unethical but really the it means what it is that they were not acting in ways that are generally accepted right and then it also means that that it also means the highest legal and moral standards are upheld when dealing with stakeholders so you need to be very aware when you are in this type of environment of your behavior and of how you treat the people around you and the stakeholders and how you behave in general like i said very very important and this topic falls under um, the general um, content or should i say it is the chapter that doesn't have that many calculations or none at all so it is your free marks this also counts as free marks okay then also we're going to deal with professionalism right and professionalism refers to acting in ways which are acceptable in a business right so socially you can laugh really really loud like hysterically and it's socially accepted because you're expressing joy and as long as you're not hurting or disturbing anybody it's allowed right but at work a certain level of professionalism right a certain level of professionalism has to be taken into consideration that even though it is okay in general out side of the work environment it is not okay in the business environment not that you are not allowed to laugh but not you cannot laugh you cannot laugh hysterically during business hours and when everyone is trying to concentrate and do their work in the same sense there are there are some ethics which are obviously based on the society and individuals around you that overlap into the professional expectations that employers have for their employees but in general it's very important to stay within the ethical and professional borders in every company that you step into because then you are not going to be in risk in the risk of losing your employment over your behavior right and so in the next video we're going to look into examples of ethical behavior and examples of unethical behavior so that you are fully aware of what falls under where because you'll find some things you didn't expect to be unethical are actually unethical and then we'll also go through examples of professional practice and unprofessional practices and the difference between professional and ethical behavior right but i think that for today's video that is the most important one because the main difference that you need to be aware of is that this is acceptable in business for professionalism or professional behavior we look into what is acceptable within a business and for ethical behavior we look into what is accept what are the acceptable values from individuals and society 
But other than that, I will we'll see you in the next video where we focus more on the details of what I'm telling you today. This is just an introductory video and I hope that it helped you. I hope that you're starting to see a little bit more of what the accounting world looks like. I hope that you feel more informed and more ready for your exams. But other than that, happy studying. Bye.